interested in sort of how, I mean, you were saying you were a nanny in Florida mm -hmm. leading up to all this. Right. You know, how did, how did it start off for you, like, even getting to this point? Was it, was it mainly an Instagram account that sort of was your platform? Yeah, so I actually got into social media totally by accident. Um, I made a viral video back, I had a video go viral back in like 2014 where I was, uh, <laughs> sounds so silly. I went through a Taco Bell drive through and I asked the girl who was working uh, if sh she wanted to have a sleepover. And a lot, not many people like know that, that that video is me, but that's kind of like how I got my start. So backstory on that, I had gone through talk, I was super hungover that morning, had gone through Taco Bell earlier in the day and I got like a beefy five layer burrito with no sour cream, which is a dope order. You guys should all get it. Um, that's besides the point. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I was there, the girl like complimented my nail polish and she was like so nice to me. And I was like, oh my gosh, like girls aren't normally like this nice. Like that was so sweet. So um, later that day, all my friends had plans and I was like, this is lame. Like nobody's hanging out with me. So I jokingly tweeted, I was like, I'm going to go back through the Taco Bell drive through and ask that girl that complimented my nail polish if she wants to have a sleepover tonight. And people were like, you won't. And so I was like, bet. <laughs> and so I went back through the drive through and like I filmed myself asking her if she wanted to have a sleepover and posted it on Twitter. And it got like 300 retweets, like nothing major. And then like a week later, my cousin texts me and she was like, hey, do you know there's like a video of you on Facebook with 24 million views? And I was like, what is the video? <laughs> like. I'm like going through my head. I'm like, oh my gosh, what, what do people have of me, blah, blah, blah. And then she sent it to me and I was like, oh, that video? But somebody reposted it and captioned it. This is how all girls should make friends. And uh, the rest is kind of history. Wow, okay. someone sort there. of ch changed the context yeah. a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and there you go. Yep. Right, and how did the Taco Bell girl respond? This is big T, Xavier, okay? Uh -oh. Because here's the thing. A lot of people ask me this. There's been some weird, like, fanfic story created that, like, it's super weird. Somebody created this story that, like, I then started dating the girl from the Taco Bell drive through and they, like, associated, like, me and, like, my ex-girlfriend in that being, like, a Taco Bell love story. Okay, I'm here <laughs> to squash all those rumors. I never dated the girl from the Taco Bell video. Ah, oh, don't there. say it. Don't I say said it. it. It's out there. That never happened. Um, actually, she was super, super sweet, and um, but she worked until, like, midnight that night, so it didn't end up working I love out. that you went straight for the sleepover, not, like, drinks no, or, like... No, 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 like, do you, you compliment my nail polish? Do you want to have a sleepover? <laughs> do you want yeah. to sleep in the same bed tonight? Plus, I was hungover. Like, I wasn't... I didn't yeah. want to drink anymore. So oh, I was true, like true. sleepover, popcorn, tea, Rice Krispie treats. Okay, wholesome. We're actually going to have a sleepover right here after this. Yeah, she's moving Woo! in apparently. Um, <laughs> right, so that's that's sort of what propelled you into the social media yeah. space. Yeah, Gotcha. Did, did you get like, was it a bit like following that occurred or did you just sort of... Well, like I think somebody commented like my username under the video on Facebook because um, it wasn't my account that posted it. And like, I remember going to sleep and having like 3,000 followers on Instagram and waking up and I had like 30,000 followers overnight and I was like, whoa, what is going on? Like, I don't know, like slow down. Um, and so I just really kind of got thrown into it. And so it was like this super like small town Southern girl, like mm -hmm. it now has all these like thousands of people with their eyes on me. And I was like, whoa, the internet is mean. Yeah. Oh, but, they like, were mean. also, hi. <laughs> hi, gonna right. make a career off this. Great, time to make more videos. And so what did you, yeah, what did you do after that? You started making content? Yeah, I just started uh, kind of just creating. And um, I think my hardest thing is, like, even, like, being in the reality house, one thing I am really, like, proud about from that is, like, I was always authentically myself. I am loud. I'm outspoken. I have a lot to say. And not everybody understands my humor, but... I always remain true to myself. And so that was like the biggest challenge was like coming into the whole social media world and you have this tendency to like compare yourself to other creators or like, oh, well, they're doing this and they're super successful in this and like I'm kind of doing the same thing, but you know, I'm not as successful. And I think that was like my biggest downfall for a long time. And then eventually I was like, screw it. Like I'm going to be me and people can either love me or hate me, but gotcha. at least they're talking about me. On a, on a more serious note, I, uh, I saw your, uh, your Instagram post the other day which I thought was really um, insightful, sort of a different side to you. If you right. guys haven't seen it, it's a uh, it's basically a, um, a post that has a, a quote on it that's written in balloons, and it says, no longer available for things that make me feel like shit. Right. Great quote, Thank great you. message. What prompted that? Um, so I think, uh, especially since The Reality House has aired, I've been getting, you know, a lot of people passing judgment on me based on, you know, 
10, 15 second clips that they've seen of me, you know, in a reality show. And it's really easy to get wrapped up in that. And it's really easy to get wrapped up in, in the opinions of people who don't know you and mm -hmm. don't know your heart and, and don't know your passions. Um, and it's easy to allow their opinion of you to kind of transform how you feel about yourself. And um, I've seen a few of my other co-stars from, from the show, you know, kind of going through that, reading the negative comments and being really down on themselves. And I think I just wanted to take a minute to remind everybody that, like, at the end of the day, all you can do is, is live your best, most authentic life. And you need to wake up every single day and strive to be better than you were yesterday. Mm -hmm. And as, we as humans, that's all that we can do. I think it's really easy to, you know, see these people that you follow and that you look up to or admire or dislike for whatever reason and hold them to a different standard as if we're not human mm -hmm. and we're not capable of making mistakes or we're not capable of growth or, you know, change. And um, I think I just wanted to kind of put it into perspective for people that, you know, we're all human and we're all doing our absolute best on this, you know, really crazy planet. And um, it's okay to not be okay. And it's okay to, you know, have hard days as long as you wake up every single morning and strive to be better. Yeah, well said. Was that something you had to, uh, took a bit to, to get comfortable speaking about that type of thing? Um, I think that the thing that I've always tried to remain, like I said earlier on my platform is, um, and why a lot of people have followed me and continue to follow me over the years, is that I always try my best to be as transparent and you know authentic as possible. And that mental health is a big part of that. And I think in today's society, everybody tries to put this image of themselves out there that, you know, they all they have it all figured out or life is great. And behind closed doors, that's not always, you know, how mm -hmm. it is. You're only seeing a sliver of what people allow you to see. And so I've always been very transparent with, you know, my mental health and, you know, struggling with with weight loss and um, and different things like that, because I want the people that follow me to know that I'm just like them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, just because I have a platform and because you know, I have followers, that doesn't mean that I don't struggle with the exact same things mm -hmm. they struggle with. And I don't wake up sometimes and just want to lay in bed all day because, you know, I, I'm feeling down on myself. Like, everybody has those days. Mm -hmm. So it's important to me to use my platform to remind others that, like, it's going to be okay. Yeah. We all go through it. If you like what you saw, make sure you check out some of our other videos right here. And also be sure to subscribe to our channel right here for new videos coming out every week.